Lithology in Hawkeye's primary purpose is to denote where one lithology formation ends and another one begins. The formation top lists can be included in reports and quick plots. There are three ways to get to the lithology editor. You can go to the curve menu by quickly accessing it here and selecting lithology. You can right click on a structure or pad and select lithology editor which will be associated with that pad. Or you can go to the edit tab at the top of the screen and select lithology here. Notice in the header of this lithology editor Whatever profile I add will be associated with the curve plan one. To add layers, I would simply click the add layer button as many times as I need in order to add particular formation tops. For each layer, I can put in a name and a description as well as where the formation begins and where it ends. The lithology pattern selector here is for visual purposes primarily, wherein in any list in a report or plot, the name and description will be the primary identifiers of that layer. I'm going to add some example information now. If you'll see here, I've added a specific description for each of these layers, and I've also put in dip angles for these particular formations. And you can also see a preview here. If I wanted to add a particular casing change at the end of each of these formation tops, I could enter that here and then in the casing editor, click get casing from lithology and it will pull that information that I've put in here. For now, let's explore what the lithology looks like in the 3D space. I save my changes by closing this editor and then I turn on lithology by clicking this show button. As you can see, the lithology is added like so. As I go up and down the curve, I have the lithology set to dynamic position so that it follows along the tangent of my curve. If I want to change any of the display options, I can right click on the lithology and then go to the lithology editor directly. Here I can choose split lithology and I can also change the translucency so that the lithology will be more or less visible in certain ways. The one last thing that lithology does is if I create a target plane, that target plane will pick up the texture that is currently associated with that TVD. So for example, if I create a target plane right here at this TVD, and I'll do that by right clicking on the curve itself and then selecting create target plane, it will actually create a target plane which picks up the associated lithology with that depth. Even if I turn off the lithology display, my target plane will continue to represent the lithology at that TVD. Now let's see what lithology looks like in the reports. If I select this option here and I go to the end of my reports, I will see a lithology list. And in quick plots, the show lithology option can be turned on here and it will display on the left side of my vertical section chart in graphical form. One last thing to keep in mind with the lithology editor is that when you put in a lithology list, it will be associated with that slot. If you want to share this lithology with other slots or wellheads, you need to click the copy lithology to platform slash pad. Then if you have another slot slash wellhead and you want to have the lithology shared, you simply go into that lithology editor and then select get lithology from platform slash pad.